Good morning, Turtle Club. How's it going? It is time for some Mag vs. Wild. Let's go over to Anza and see what we got going. And you may notice we're right here at the very beginning of the start screen. And there's a reason for that. Uh, two reasons, actually. One, um, Ark's been very, very, very hatefully finicky today. But... Uh, lo and behold, we can still persevere. Uh, number two, we did have a uh, person ask, Hey, Mag, how long does this all take to get in? You've got like a gig and a half of mods and that kind of stuff. And and on we're not on the super duper laptop today. We're actually on the desktop computer, which is almost as good as the laptop. Uh, however, it does not run our craft of a solid state drive. So just to give people an idea of what this takes... Um, and this is mainly the reason why we love going on to the smaller maps first and then hooking into Anza because Anza is a bit bigger map. Yeah, it's not a huge map, but we're going to go ahead and sign in with the password. Uh, we are almost to the point to where the final balance pass is going to happen. And that's that's what I want to show everybody is you know where that's going to be and that that should be like next week or the week after. Uh, my goal is to have this server ready to go for the whole Turtle Club by my birth week, which is the last week of this month. That way, everybody can have a great time on it with me being able to play kind of during daylight hours on a couple of days. Hopefully you get some really cool stuff going on during that week. That's that's the goal. That's the goal. But we'll find out. Um, again, we just started trying to sign into the actual server. It was one minute till. We're just going to give this thing a, a go here. Normally I try to sign in about five to ten minutes before my stream starts. So I can actually be signed in with my player, all that good stuff. Today I was actually snacking on some pizza and it was about 15 till I tried to sign in and didn't realize that there's actually a mod update that got pushed through one thing I will say about Hicks and Lord's very ambitious Omega uh, mod is it is being continually improved and continually updated which is not a bad thing let me clarify that thousand percent not a bad thing but the rapid fire pace of the update sometimes can cause complexities, especially on people with, uh, I wouldn't say this is a low end system. It's an i7, 16 gig of RAM, massive hard drive. I uh, just did a speed test before this and it's running at like 600 meg down and 45 meg up. You know, we are, we're doing really, really good all things considered. And, you know, it's a, uh, it is a 1660, or no, it's a 1060, it's a 1066 gig. So it is a little bit of an older graphics processor, but this part here, this is all hard drive. This load here is all hard drive. Um, but when there's a mod update, it takes forever, no matter the size of the mod, because of the way Arc handles mod installations. Uh, mod order for installing mods is always gonna be your map first, and then any kind of really heavy weight mods like Hex and Lords, and then you're going to go for the more utility mods and eventually the administrative managerial mods at the end. And that's kind of the, the best order for mod loading. And that's basically because you want this cascade of data. You want all the mods loading in after the map to know basically which map you have. You want all the mods loading in after your dinosaurs, basically wanting to know what dinosaurs you have. And at the end of the whole chain, of course, we have TC's auto rewards for Timmy Carbine's auto rewards. And we want Timmy Carbine's auto rewards to be able to see all of the other mods before that. There is a, uh, a minor thing when you do that, though, is that if any of these mods are not what you call stackable, meaning they overwrite things, they, they kick some things to the curb from basic arc, then that means that when other mods look for that data, they fail to find it. So certain mods out there will basically go, oh, pff, I don't see where this is. Hey, Chief, I, I need this data and I can't find it. And then it, the mod doesn't work. Um, so that's one of the reasons also why we test is because every single little bitty piece of mod data is useful for those kind of things. 
All right. Oh, I did see something cool on the Dodo Island. Um, so Hexen's Arc Omega. Uh, while I was doing some testing on Dodo Island on the Jurassic Isle, we did get attacked. Well, attacked is a little extreme, maybe. But there is, uh, there are some actual named dino bosses that will show up after X amount of time, apparently. Which is kind of interesting. And we did see what it was. And since we were purging everything with the admin rifle, we did blow it up, and it did make a huge explosion. So I don't know how we deal with any of that here. My, my goal, a little bit, is to see what all we can get away with in the game before we have to really lean into Hexenlord stuff. So right now we've hit the five minute mark for load. So it is taking just a little bit longer than what I would consider um, standard, right? Standard arc, I expect to, on a small, very vanilla kind of server, hop in, get on, be there in about five, maybe six minutes. We're at loading mod five out of 13. I wanna say mod five on the load order is the auction house. There we go, look at that jump. Five to eight to nine. Ten, eleven. See, once you get past the big mods, the, the heavy, you know, heavy lifting mods, then you get the real good load. And hey, here we are. On the map, all this really good data. I am 99.9999% .99 certain we are just dead in a gutter somewhere um, with our base just totally wrecked and no kind of goodness at all. Do, 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 do. I do apologize a little bit for the background noise sort of club. It is currently in my neck of the woods, 70 degrees outside, more humid than humid could be. And the humidity really is something that I'm still not used to. Lived in Georgia for seven years now. Grew up in Oklahoma. Oh, a little place called Ponca City, as I mentioned. A slightly bigger place called Oklahoma City. And in Oklahoma, we have this thing called dry heat. That means when you sweat, <laughs> you cool off. When you go in the shade, you cool off. When you stand in the breeze, you cool off. In the south, you get this nice hug of moisture known as humidity. And so when you sweat, you're just adding to the sous vide juices that are kind of cooking you alive already as it is. Uh, when you sit in the shade, you just kind of, instead of boil, you poach. And when you hit the, so, some wind, it's more like a, an air fryer than anything. And the sweat kind of works like a, a little spritz of grease. At least the way my body handles it. Nowhere near condition to it at all. And Digrat, bless her heart, um, she has lived in Oklahoma with me for so long. And when she, we moved to Georgia, she said, I have to reacclimate to this because I am not, I am not prepared for any of this apparently. Which has been kind of funny. Here we are, we're still loading the map. Now the mods did load. Hey, we're at eight minutes and we're getting that secondary kind of music. And we see that we got this little shift in graphics. Usually indicates we're loading. Oh, what? All right, I, I, what the what? Oh, that's neat. You can see the animation for that goes to like a rifle animation. Huh. All right. 
So on the plus side, we are loaded in. On the not so plus side, once again, we have two things. Uh, you'll notice our music volume, they reset. I don't know why that is. I'm guessing some sort of arc update. Uh, so that means that we're not going to have the advantage I really don't know how we managed to be alive. I'm, I'm completely flabbergasted. I'm completely flabbergasted. I, to say I'm flummoxed would be an understatement. Um, okay, so... Wow. Alright, hold up. Alright, so one thing that we may need to... No, 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 wait a second. All right, so recently damaged. Recently damaged. Did I, yeah, actually, am I the one who damaged that? Let's see if there's one here that actually has some damage here. Here we go. Wow, so it doesn't do any actual hit points damage to it. But it does set the damage clock. That's interesting. Alright, so... First things first, let's move our soda can outside of the view here. Um... So I'm not I'm not the guy who did the damage here. I, I'm I'm aware of this. Alright, so our goal though is in fact to build wood foundations. Okay, it's dark. That's not a fire-breathing dinosaur that we have to contend with. I have to tell myself that because if I don't, uh, things are going to get bad. Alright, so... Crafting. Foundations. Alright, these N plus wood foundations need more wood and more thatch. Okay, what about windows? We don't know how to make any windows yet, do we? Alright, so let's make a N plus window frame and N plus window. Because, if we remember, we have some pretty aggressive neighbors. Alright. Hey, I know this trick. We're going to demolish this, which gets us some thatch and some fiber, and maybe, maybe we can make this our wooden window now. Oh my gosh, what are we missing? Oh, we're missing wood. Okay, wood we can handle. We have plenty of wood. Alright, so we're going to try to be smart about this. Alright. Awesome, my actual button settings are good, so we're going to do this. We're going to pick this wood up. Whoa, what? Switch the thatch? That's kind of neat. I wonder if that's just graphically. Alright, so... So we have the bed. Hmm. 
actually, realistically, stone's going to be our better thing to do. We don't have much stone. But... Uh, switch those over, grab these arrows. Oh, we do have some spoiled meat, that's good too. Uh, and it, it drops one every day, it's, or, or two every day, that's not too bad. wonder if we do the same trick we did. Let's go ahead and demolish this. We got some thatch, we got some fiber. Can we make us another window? No we can't, but what we can do is we can make us a actual window window. So we'll do that. So dehydrating, not good. It's been kind of a, a common thing for us. Uh, water well, water reservoir. So we don't have any cementing paste. We need bugs to get cementing paste. That is a problem. So we're probably dead. Realistically, we are probably dead. So, to that end, let's store some of these things. We are most likely just dead and just want to run into things. Because berry bushes aren't really common here in the dark. Oh, wait a second. Hold the phone. Hold the phone. We want to put these away. We can keep the torch on us. Torch is perfectly fine. What else will we not be upset with losing? Oh, two pieces of meat? Yeah. Alright, so let's go... Here's a berry. Hello, berry bush. Now, what's really kind of interesting about survival crafting, right, is a lot of different games do a lot of different things differently. And that's kind of, you know, the, the name of the game, right, is to be unique, is to be different than everybody else to make players like myself in, in the Turtle Club uh, have different various things that entice you to play the game. And one of those things is the hunger systems in these games, right? Uh, some of the other survival stuff, temperature, those kind of things, right? Those are kind of important. Uh, these are these are things that you know kind of stick out to some some people. Uh, 
a few other things that are big though and one that I am very thankful is different in this game than is in Seven Days to Die is Seven Days to Die has a system called Heat and basically the, the gimmick in Seven Days to Die um, if you can call it that is that everything that is a food source for a zombie gives off heat and because they give off heat zombies will actually come after a player who generates a lot of heat now there are a few things that generate heat other than like the human body right like for one this torch that I'm carrying around and this this torch that I'm carrying around if we were playing seven days to die would start attracting the attention of all the local Zeds that would like to do nothing more than to see what I taste like uh, with ketchup or just deep fried or, or just you know uh, like sashimi um, and that's one thing right the, the torch the human body it generates heat so but it's a very low amount of heat firearms generate heat using them I should say um, generators you know electrical currents those things generate heat and of course campfires generate heat. so a lot of different things would basically get me in trouble um, in that game that don't get me in trouble here now the trade-off right is in seven days to die I can go anywhere I want by manipulating the world very similar to Minecraft you can dig anywhere, you can build anywhere. Uh, it uses an actual realistic system for um, gravity, structural integrity, those kind of things. I gotta say, I, uh, I don't really have the respawn set to a, a huge amount of time for you know, a short I don't have that like ramped up or anything so this area seems to be just kind of natural for that kind of stuff which you know I'm okay with that so we're getting a little bit of water back not much we're getting a lot of food back which is what you expect from berries um, huh It looks like the essences and the souls that we get, those don't actually have a, a decay timer on them, which I guess is pretty good. All right. Hmm. I'm trying to think of really where we want to go next. Uh, we want to level up some stuff too, right? Uh, melee health. We're going to go health. Alright. What can... Stone, metal, obsidian, crystal, little pieces. Alright. So... Those things... Okay... So there's the water skin, water and pestle, diamond retrieving terminal. Interesting. So where was it where we saw the unstable water? Sure, what that sound is. Sounds like it's wind of some sort, maybe? Interesting.
hey, I don't know what caused it, but our water's all the way up. Huh. So the, the berries apparently are giving us a lot more water than what we thought they were. I'm okay with this. Alright, so we are a level this at this point, right? So we've made it all the way to metal um, by survival, but by like being able to get things, we are still trying to get ourselves into the Stone Age. Crop plots so far off on our things that we can do. All right, double stone, double door frame, uh, reinforced double door. But we want the in plus varieties. So, stone is how we're going to be maneuvering our way moving forward. Uh, we, we like regular pillars. I don't know what the difference is. Three walls high. Okay. One wall high. We like math. We're not a we do not have problems with math. And quite honestly, um, it's kind of how we live, right? Uh, so your in plus stone hatch frame, reinforced trapdoor, reinforced door. In case you go for the single one, I guess. And plus stone ramp, which can toggle the stairs. I always feel like, hmm, hmm, I don't know what's real club, I really don't. I, I feel like a loadout mannequin, ah, that's neat. I feel like we kind of need to go looking for Adobe, but I found no clay at all in this, this biome. In plus wall torch, though. I'm sure we'll get that, but I don't think it's going to help us either. So, that's where we were. This is where we were, too. We were trying to get our forge and our smithy. Alright. Oh, that's kind of neat. I never, don't remember the wood bench. Alright, so... Man alive. It's 4 a.m. Okay. So we were going to die from thirst, but we, we, we didn't. So let's just grab our tools back. Grab our materials back. Uh, put these berries away. Uh, put that meat away. So they can both spoil and give us some more spoiled meat. Um, you know what we could do? Let's see. Can, can we actually build the mortar and pestle? I bet we have enough materials here to build the mortar and pestle. Ah. So that is great to hear. Ah, interesting. Unlike some other mods that we won't name, uh, we cannot put this mortar and pestle on top of the box. Right, so now we need to make Narco. And uh, spark powder. Reserve bin would be a good thing to do. Also, a soul compressor. See? I get it. I get it, right? I just want to say I get it. People like techie stuff. Alright? I, I just... I really enjoy having a more... 
primitive kind of ramp up. But I get it. Some things have to be balanced. Consumables. Make all the narcotic we can make. And then make all the spark powder we can make for now. All right, put this back there. Put this back there. And then we can put this on. Put those on. Want our health to go up again. So we're level 47. And the way things start off with Ark, right, is there's really just milestones still. Right now we're in this fill in the gap kind of area. The grapple might actually be good for us eventually, but we still don't know where our source of cementing paste is going to be. I really shudder to think that our source of cementing paste is probably going to be... It's probably going to be bugs. So we're going to be gathering the materials we need for the forge. Yeah, let's go crafting. Let's say forge. Uh, so we just need the stone and the wood at this point. And we want to go health, health. Twelve woods and thatch, sixteen woods, and there's twenty wood. That's all the wood we need. Man, what is up with this world? I don't see any snakes. I don't see any, like, everything that was trying to kill us earlier. <sighs> Not that that's necessarily a bad thing. more stone. And by that I mean like twice as much as we've gotten so far. I tell you what though, Turtle Club, boy howdy, after last week's adventure in this map, we have completely grown to respect third person view as best as we... Oh dear Jah, what? What? Okay. So that just rained like death and destruction from the sky. And I, I think I know why like nothing's standing around here anymore. Cause holy I don't even want to think about that. Like that ain't even right, Turtle Club. Okay. There's only the one thing we do to get rock is we gotta keep going with rock. So, you know, sometimes you're the third guy in the fight, and your job is to not be near the other two guys. And that's what this is. 
Oh my gosh, that's like some sort of like rock giant over there. Yeah, we're we're going we're we're going to ethereal soul and beta essence. Yeah, yeah. So a beta something just died, apparently. Um, forge. Can we make one? Yes, we can. All right. Good. As we were. As we were. As we were. As we were. Level up. We will do that in the safety of our roofless house. Oh my gosh. Okay. So if this were seven days to die, this would be like the dumbest thing we could do. And that is, wait, what? What? Four chibis melted down into a new chibi? Uh, that's weird. Okay. All uh, right. Um, so metal is like something that we really do want some of. And that is absolutely a thing that could happen. I I don't know what we do about something that's throwing like comets at us possibly all right so crafting stone foundation health we we don't like going above 118 for our speed for running but turtle club we might have to go above 115 for our speed for running reasons all right stone thatch wood we're going to build each one of these as we come across them we... and because our source of water right now is a Okay, okay. Okay. What? Not okay. This is not fine. It is time to put down the coffee mug and run. Oh my gosh. I think that... I. Th Oh my gosh, I think that's actually what just summoned that. Yes. Oh. Oh. Please, please leave our house. Please leave our house. Please leave our house before you do another one of those, please. Oh my gosh. Yeah, that, that's that's pretty much my actual thoughts right now. So, just to review, the reason why there are no snakes nearby our house right now is because this thing summons like a rift through time and space. And there is a stone golem somewhere along this way that like throws planets at people okay yeah very and I don't know what that is it's not the first time that that actual noise has happened to hit us trying to remember there's I know there's a soup that we can make man 
if anything gets nearby our house right now, we are sort of just dead. And I don't even know if that species of dino is aggressive. Like, I know the base species isn't, but I also know that stegosauruses aren't supposed to just jump and kill us like a ninja. And that happens, so, yeah. Ugh. Alright. Oh, look at that metal node. Like, I don't even know if jug bugs can be something that we basically have to be totally terrified about. And so... Man, this metal here is so important, though. Oh my gosh. Oh, that's not your graphics glitching mag. That is something summoning a tornado. Yeah. All right, yeah. All right, I'm encumbered. So we wanna go and see if we can make a stone foundation. And if that fixes our weight problem. It does indeed fix our weight problem. Good. Once we get all of the stuff so we can get from this, maybe. If you'll notice, Turtle Club, I am occasionally stopping my pickaxe work. Okay, I, I'm going to do something stupid, possibly. What is this? Fairy Water Jug Bug. Alright, so... It's just a fairy. It's not aggressive. That's good. That thing there, though. We are encumbered again. Uh, we have two points we can put in weight. We're not over encumbered, we're just encumbered. Thatching wood. Alright, so if we go with the axe and chop this tree up, I think we'll get the thatch and the wood we need. Well, there's the wood we need. Oh, nope, not quite. Alright. One of the best ways to run an art, guys. Is cave view. Cave view will help you see everything you want to see. You can hold the direction you're wanting to go down, and it doesn't matter what you do. As far as that is, as long as the W is played, it goes wherever your front head's facing. I don't think that Morella tops over there is going to be aggressive. But that snake sure will be. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. 
Please, Mr. Serpent, don't find us. Don't find us. Oh, there's the water plane. Interesting. I don't think we're in the aggressive range of the snake. The problem is, is I'm, I'm desperately, and I do mean that word as, as defined by Webster's and, and Funk and Wagnall, I am desperately trying to determine and remind myself if a snake will attack Morellatops. Morellatops, uh, for those that don't recall, uh, they have two different kinds of behaviors. Uh, if they are nearby each other, they will become aggressive when attacked. As in, two or more, one of them gets attacked, they will jump that, they'll jump whatever attacked them. However, comma. Let's just grab this, crafting. Foundation, stone foundation. If they should so happen to be by themselves, their default way of behavior is to stand up and fight. And to, I want to say that's my six button. Yep, sweet. Thatch and we need wood. All right, that's fine. So we got wood, we got metal being crafted here. Uh, so our next thing that we want to make, right, is our smithy. That's going to require that we get five metal ingots. Oh no. Some wood and hide. Okay, so plus side. Plus side. We do have a bow, right? And, and bows are important because they allow us to kill things without actually seeing them. Alright, so let's go ahead and switch these buttons around to where that's my primary attack weapon. So the question about whether or not snakes will attack more all tops, I think we've just answered. Oh, so now we just gotta hope the Morella Tops doesn't run all the way over here. Because if it does, we pretty much get foundations, right? I don't know what that attack does, but I bet you it rips through wood and thatch and possibly, possibly stone like it was a house in Oklahoma. So, yeah. Yeah. And Lurk Squad, thank you for hanging out with us today. Really appreciate you all. We are on our Anza map currently. We are currently in the dark, and we are hiding like the coward we are. It is because of a lot of reasons. <laughs> uh, one is we are trying to be intelligent this go-round. It's not our usual way of doing things. But... Oh, oh, we do have, hmm, well now, we do have some spark powder also, which is great because now we can put spark powder in here and it will 
fuel that a lot better than the, the wood will as far as the cost goes. And we can make a, a good truckload of spark powder here. 35. Black. Hmm. And we'll get some charcoal going too. That's good also, because charcoal can be used for bullets. And bullets are going to be something that we're going to want later on in life as well. Speaking of old gunpowder, are we to that part yet? We are to the gunpowder world. A net gun. See, no ammo, can't be broken. Ensnares targets. Much easier to use. I mean, these are good things, don't get me wrong. But I gotta ask myself, does this actually decrease the challenge of Arc Omega? Or does this increase the challenge of Arc Omega having these items? And is it that you basically have to have this? And I don't know the answer to that. I really don't. Uh, flare gun. Eventually we'll need to learn. Rifle. Oh, look at this. Already. Those are things that we will definitely be using once we can. Alright, so as far as the smithy goes though, our biggest problem right now is is the is the hide. So we're gonna have to hunt down some hide after this is done. Alright, so Storage. Not stow, store. Alright, scroll storage. Interesting. And a plus storage box. Metal storage box. Alright, so we're not to that yet, though. Elemental storm grenade. Look at this. These things are crazy. I don't even know what the bolo is. I'm a level to where I can learn the bolo, but it says no, you can't. Alright. So, storage wise, we need wood, which we have, and thatch, which we don't. Intriguing. Are we totally out of thatch? We are. And we are out of materials for that. Uh huh. Alright, so yeah, we definitely want to start crafting gunpowder because that's going to be a thing. So we have two of the Summoner Souls. Huh. Tops, be friendly. Be very, very, very friendly. So, wall torch, we need so much stuff for. for this, we just need thatch and, and, and stuff. Okay. Hmm. 
Well, I will say this, much like some of the other more impressive mods out there for dinosaur improvements, I spend a good portion of the dark inside my little tent. I don't think... I don't think this thing is really concerned about us. That's that's a plus. I just need something else to not come by and attack it. Because if something were to come by and hurt this thing, we would be just we would be just toast. Like not even toast. Like crumbs. Right? I mean, that, that's, that's, that's basically what happens after toast, is you get crumbs. And, yeah. 225. Now, I, I know some people might be asking, Mag, why are you, why are you, why are you, are, why, are, why is all this um, time going into being in the dark? And the reason for that is uh, largely, oh, in plus pot, we need to make that too. Uh, there are some things in this game that completely, anti-gravity potion, and then gravity potion, interesting, fortitude potion, huh. Um, so there, there are some... What? I have no clue what that is. But there are some items in this in this mod. Uh, Multi-tool. Wow. That is odd. Okay. Bathroom grenade. Huh. You need to them. So there's definitely some auto sorting going on with this mod. I kind of like that. Kind of like that. Makes makes life a little bit easier. Compost bin. Eventually we're going to need that. Oh! Craft platform. A thieves pendant? Oh, wow. Um, alienated one would love to know this. Any offhand items, so like shields. Craft your shields, I've done on there. You can no longer be a, ooh, ooh. It, it it does require killing a few. Which I don't think alienated would have a problem killing most of them. Uh, preserving bin we can make eventually. Hey, it looks like we're starting to see some daylight. A little bit of daylight. So the smithy was the next thing we were trying to make, and for that we needed hide, and we have the metal. Oh my gosh.
the hide requires is finding something to kill. So we're up to 200. Stamina is going to be our next thing to start kind of grinding on. The problem is, is we really don't know what we're about to get into. I mean, some of the snakes we found were, were killable. Some of the snakes we found were like Bully Maguire and just would not leave us alone. There's a little torch out there. I mean, the thing with the Morellotops, right, is they're not carnivorous. So whatever that Morellotops fought, if it if it killed it, the corpse should have been somewhere still nearby. It just may have despawned given the time. I wonder if we go back to options and turn our music on. Oh, wild card. Please fix that. <laughs> so there's the jug bug. Here's the metal nodes that we were whacking at earlier. So, I mean, plus side. Well, there is no plus side. We are in the middle of the desert. Our best possible animal to kill are snakes. And and even then, there's a, a, a minor chance, and that's a, a non definitely a non zero chance, that the snakes might be like able to throw fireballs. They, they might be able to fly. Um, remember we were attacked by a flying piranha in the first stream on this series. They, they may be able to do all manner of just crazy stuff. Um, okay, so we've, we've explored this little section here a lot. This part here that heads to these giant bones I've been very nervous of going this direction this this right here this right here screams to me no screams to me no you do not wish to go over this way something this big died here You will be the next thing that dies here if you come this way.
we are very carefully going to backtrack a little bit because our goal is not to lose all of our nice tools and stuff, right? And I don't mean they're like expensive or anything. I just mean they're, you know, ours. Okay. So, so far this looks to be more the same. Look at that, Turtle Club. So either this direction toward what looks to be great, and this direction what looks to be more desert. Of the two, there's something alive over that way. And that just looks like soy bacon. I mean, that looks like it's all the soy bacon. And so we're going to be very respectful for this, this wonderful thorny dragon over here. And we're going to be very, very careful. Uh, speaking of being very, very careful, what are we holding on to that's so heavy? Definitely not those or those. But unfortunately, it is some stuff that we got to hold on to because we took some material without realizing it. Oh, so, you know, can, can we make a foundation? Are we able to make a foundation? Uh, we need some thatch for a foundation, so if we can get to a tree and make a foundation, we will save ourselves some inventory space. And I don't know if stealth sneaking does anything in this game when you're not doing PvP, but we're going to tell ourselves it does for now. What are you? A boogeyman? I don't even want to know. I don't even want to know. So this did two things for us. This took out a whole lot of stone, and it gave us a level so we can get some more stamina. Okay, that's a that is a. Oh my God. Are you kidding me? I don't even know. I don't even know. Where to go?
Okay. Okay, so that thing is running after me. All right. Okay. Okay. We know that that's our house nearby. We know we can run fairly fast. We're pretty convinced one of those bugs is doing that. Um, arrows, crafting. What do I need? I need it to not stop. Beta Spectral Tetomirin. Alright. So we're going to spawn at the bed. <sighs> yeah. We're going to say rename. Desert base. So first things first, we need arrows. We have nothing that gets us arrows. Okay. I'm not 100% sure that that bug was what's doing that then. Wow. Then I do not see Hey, there is oh Alright. Wow, this thing can keep pace with the hundred eighteen. That's pretty nasty. Can we outrun it now, though? No, because of the uh, poison. All right. So we're back to this really horrible part of the game. All right. Respawn random location. We know a few things that are mainly safe to go around. This is the Merlot Tops. Do not know what that sound is. We, f we think it's got to be something over here that's fighting stuff. Oh, look at here. A lot of salt rock and stuff. Alright, so we kind of think we're down this way. Hey, there's the skeleton. The giant skeleton kind of tells us where we're at. I think we got to go around, though. So, crafting wise, we need thatch, wood. Let's just start going kind of that way.
I think that's just a graphic, uh, an audio bug. Okay, so we beat up a tree and got no wood. That's a problem. Oh, bye bye. We need some wood. There's some wood. We need flint for the axe. So next, crafting. Uh, we have those two. What's the what's the bow need? Wood and fiber. All right, but what's this need? Wood. So we need to go back for some wood. Now I need lots of fiber. And this little tool does pretty good at that. Do anything against trees? Eh, it seems to do something against trees, but it picks up stone that's on the ground. All right, so that's part of the problem. Right, that's a snake of some sort. We need flint for that. All right. So, don't know what that is. I know we had a snake over here somewhere. We have 11 arrows. If this was like Ark and not Ark Omega, we would be able to fend for ourselves against a snake.
But as it currently stands, no. However. Oh. Well, that is a snake fighting a Dodicarus. And it just made a snowstorm. And I am hoping that was the Dodicarus that did that and not the snake. Oh no. Oh no 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 no. I don't know what you are, but you are faster than you should be. So we've just done 210 damage with this thing. Four hundred and what? Mm, Four forty. A little bit over five hundred damage to it now. Is it running away now? Fiber, oh my gosh. Oh, this is so horrible. Oh, that's a flying bug. We do not need to go after the flying bug. We have done more damage to this thing.
my goodness. I don't even... I've stopped counting. I've stopped counting, Turtle Club. This thing is level 10. Level... level 19. Or 191. Never mind. Never mind. 191. For real though, I could swear it said level 10. Let's go back to the replay. Replaying, replaying. Watching him run away, and then not being satisfied, I had to try to kill the guy because that was smart of me. All right, this. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know it's real club. That is that is the darndest thing. That is the darndest thing. Alright, but our bed's back, so we can kind of spawn back in our bed. Oh, that's great. Hey, we've traded one fast moving bug for another, right? Yeah, we sure have. Oh wow, look at that look at that stam drain. Yeah, that said level eleven. Alright, so I that looks like So it looks like a hundred and one or hundred and eleven, but then it's an L. So I'm not sure what's going on there. I'm not sure what's going on there. That is... That's problematic. Oh, but not as problematic as this. We're, we're at game of three, right? Yeah, we're at game of three. So we are totally... All right, a level 40 drone, a level 13 drone. So that's a level 13, okay. We're just going to, like, pepper this whole entire area with our corpses, apparently. Hey. That's either our base. That's our house. I'd recognize that light anywhere. So, all right, so that's spoiled finally. Awesome. Looks like this auto offs when it no longer has stuff to to smelt. I like that. It helps a little. All right. 
So we have all these souls, nothing really to do with them, because we're still kind of slow rolling out the other stuff. Knockout dart. Wow. Okay. Yeah, that's not overpowered at all. Um, healing dart. Huh. Interesting. Bunk beds take pelt and polymer, of course. GPS attachment, which we don't need. A soul magnet. Huh. And I don't recognize that metal there. Interesting. A DPS dummy. Oh. No clue what that is, or these for that matter. Electricity, eventually we'll get to that. Maybe. Alright. So pretty much nothing at the moment that's going to alright, prime knockout error. Takes prime. Okay. Yeah. Well, so the farmers and so those things from the S plus just moved over. Oh wow. Uh, oh, so it uses salt. And and power. Interesting. Weird. Don't even doesn't even have like the crafting requirements. Jar of pitch. Catapult turret. Wow, that's fun. Oh, a uh, chippy display. That's cool. That's neat. I like that. Hmm. So that's basically the S plus stuff. Up dart. Interesting. See, I've not found any silk around here either, which is odd. Uh, no, thank you. Okay. All right, so it is now daylight. Look at that jerk. Oh my gosh. Complete jerk. Need some more wood. He knows what he's doing. There's the fiber. Alright, and then we need some flint, right? And thatch. Some stone. I need some stone.
epically dying on stream today, guys. I wish I knew how much hit points these things had. It would make life a lot easier. So I still need some wood. That's all the wood we need. How many arrows can we craft? Four. What's our choke point? Fiber. All right, so we're going to go get all the fiber we can from all these bushes. Lots of fiber there. Lots of fiber here as well. I do like on this map how there's just random stone laying down, so we can get a pretty good amount of stone. Right, crafting arrows 71 all right If we had a boa, man, oh my gosh, okay, so, I don't know, see this thing's like a ghost something or other, it just seems like it would just go right through it, so, uh. So it goes invisible. That's what was giving us the fits earlier. I don't know how long it goes invisible either. Whoa. Is a regroup? Is it running off? Is that what's going on?
part of the Cough Trail Club. We are waiting to see where this guy shows up next. Miss. Oh, we killed it. Oh. We got some chitin. We got some basic essence. We found out that this is completely passable through people. Because, like, that makes complete sense. Like, why not? Um, wow. Okay. We are burning up, but we have some clothing. Not only do we have some clothing, we have some chitin. Um... This whole thing kind of started with this boy over here. Alright, so work the wise. Oh we gotta we gotta we gotta repair fast and get running, get running, get running, get running. So this thing, meteor storms, and it hits where it's walking, not where it's going to. So as long as you are not where it's at, not in melee. Man, this thing's running away on us, so we know it's getting close to dead.
boy tried to sneaky sneaky me. Oh my gosh. Okay, we need flint. On the bright side, this thing is neon blue. So we can see it kind of coming a mile away. Man, this thing takes so many arrows. We need more flint. Oh my gosh. We need thatch also though. Alright. We're needing the water from those. I don't know if we can trank an ant, but Turk Club, I sure am going to try. I'm going to give it a real good, solid attempt. Another thing I'm going to do, though, is I'm going to do this. Bow? Thatch is our current choke point. All right, so we need thatch. So the goal here in the last hour is to maybe kill this guy. Okay, that's the sun coming up maybe? No, that's the sun going down. Oh no. Oh no.
And these primitive tools break real fast, which is one of the reasons why we're hoping a lot, a lot, a lot. Oh, I need thatch. I don't need flint. But I'll get all the flint I can get. I would really like to know how he tamed some of these things, because that would be kind of cool to have. Um, Alright, so, arrow. 56. And then craft the last of our torpor arrows afterwards. So the good news is, um, well, <laughs> Good news is we are extremely kitted out right now for our way of being kitted out, right? The the bad news is is I don't know if we're gonna be able to kill this thing. Though the the, the good ish news, right? Is this nasty bug is fluorescent blue. Where are you? Old jug bug. So, the good news is, is that realistically speaking, one would think we could see this guy in the dark. There is no good news. There is no semi-good news. I know he's out there. That's it right there, guys. Now we just wait for movement. Well, that was a lot closer than it's gotten before. Let's uh, let's run a little, a little ways. Yeah, I like this. Uh -huh. Put a little lead on it.
I know I've not hit every single one of these shots, Turtle Club, but we have done. Oh no, oh no, oh no, no, oh no, oh no. A level six Prime Meteor Titanirma drone. And this thing just rocked our world. I, uh,. Chorus. It is currently the blackest of night. These bugs like to hang around our body. So before we can take on this drone, whoa, whoa, that was not where he was. Excuse the ever loving everything out of you. I'm not sure that those are the same everything going on. Oh. Oh. Okay, we die. That is, that is, I don't know what that is. That is, that is a problem for tomorrow's mag is what that is. As a siren jug bug. I don't even know Turtle Club. I really don't at this point. Yeah, whatever's fighting over there can stay over there, hopefully. I can a thousand and ten percent tell you this much though, Turtle Club. We are not going to at all. At all. Whatsoever. Not one bit survive these guys. 
if they get to our base. I mean, we we are we are trying desperately to become the smart pig of the brothers, and we're getting there, right? Wood for this one. Wild male fairy water jug bug. Can we catch a break? to that is no probably not hey t back i'm doing good man best sleep best sleep huh that's uh that's pretty good i mean you know when you just basically just wake up and you're just refreshed you don't want to go back to bed and you don't feel like you've oh no no that's that we'll call that a draw we'll let bygones be good bygones that guy over there that guy over there just uh but yeah, when you basically when you went to bed and, and you wake up and you don't really want to crawl back into bed, and at the same time though, and you don't feel like you're like unrested. It's just it's good. Alright. So we leveled up. Actually, you know, we got our stuff back, so we can put our clothes back on. Um, yeah, we can actually repair this too. Our hat's taking the brunt of everything. Alright, so stamina again. Level 61. Let's see what we can get for 61 here. Uh, beta knockout dart, god knock. Knockout arrow, refrigerator, seamless, prop squares. Huh. Ceilings? Oh, wait, wait, wait. Okay, they mean for Had a valuable lesson in. Oh, those are always good. You know, valuable lesson dreams or like great, great idea dreams, those are always uh, definitely kind of like better than nothing, right? Alright, so we got. So, as long as that blue guy kind of like stays over where he's at. And as long as that, like, rock giant stays where he's at, I think we're just going to spend the next hour trying to upgrade all this to stone. And, and, uh, we'll just, we'll just, uh, we'll just do that. Stone and wood is what we need for the next bit. Okay, so, oh, that's the other thing we're trying to do. Storage of the big size. We need some wood. So let's look at that. How's the new house? You know, the new house is, um, uh, it's going along pretty good. It, there are, you know, when you, when you have a home, you have, and, you know, nothing's perfect, right? Let's just start off with that. Our house is amazing for us. And for everything that we wanted to do, it is perfect in that respect. So let me start off with that. There are a laundry list of things, though that both Digrat and I would like to have taken care of for it. And we've been kind of bit by bit, piece by piece, doing what we can do for those. And that's kind of slow going. The current things we have right now that are kind of like next to do, next things that we want to do, is ideally 
We want to repair the fence that's around the house. Hey, I like how this snaps too. Alright, so now we can just grab everything from here and shove it over in there. Except for the souls. And the essences. We just shove those all in there. And so so that all said, right? That is that's one thing. Wow, it turned off my, my skins. Interesting. Uh, but the main big thing that I would like to have happen next, personally, is... Okay, that doesn't spoil. That's good. Is the, the heat here is pretty egregious. And it wasn't something that we really... Uh, can we just prepare these? And, since we, we made a few of these things, right? Now we have backup tools for when we die. And it's the room that I'm in. Love it for a lot of reasons. Uh, don't love it for some. And, and one of those things that I don't care for is the fact that the aircon in our house, we have two of them, and one is for the upstairs portion of the building. And it's a smaller unit. And the other one's for the downstairs portion of the building. Yeah, oh yeah, the, the heat, absolutely. Um, but the the downstairs port of the of the home, back in ye old day, uh, it... Oh, we need to do this. We need to do that. And we need to actually make one. Put that there. But so the house originally was not. Oh wait, no 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 no. We need to cancel that. Cancel 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 cancel. We can't cancel after we built it. Oh well. Uh, so yeah, the, the house originally was not something that was um, as big as it is now. It's been added to, and specifically from what we can tell, it's been added to uh, was my room, and like uh, the living room area from what we can tell. Uh, we want this to go down. No. Hello. So we gotta, we gotta pick up the bed. All right, and then we can drop this. Oh, that's a. Th oh no. Oh, we we made the wrong foundations. First things first, the sped back. But yeah, so so the the air conditioning system is, is good. It's just not great. It's not it's not as efficient as it could be. So the room that I'm in gets extremely hot because it's it's sort of like where it's at the end. Uh, stone foundation is what I need. Yeah, it's yeah, it's exactly. It's not designed for this layout, and it's it's okay. On on, it's okay for for some of the day, right? But for like right now, it's seventy out uh, Fahrenheit, and oh man, I hope whatever is fighting that kills it. <laughs> So there's all the wood, so I need thatch and stone. Oh, that's not even it. That's that. That's the, uh, oh my gosh. There's just way too many nasties out here right now. Alright. Hey, it's more morel tops. That's good. But yeah, so inside the room I'm in, it's probably like 78 degrees. So it's actually hotter inside here than it is outside. So it retains a lot of heat. And that, you know, could be better. Could be much better. Uh, one of the other things that we really would like eventually is we would like to have pets. Uh, specifically, 
Diggret would like to have corgis. That, that's that's what she's focusing on. And for us to do that, our fence, um, the the prior. Oh my gosh. I don't know what that thing is duking with right now. He's just a very, very angry dude, though. But yeah, so the people that lived here before us, they weren't the owners, but they were the tenants. Um, they had a lot of dogs. And I mean a lot of dogs. And yeah, for, for Corky's, you know, um... Not too huge, right? I mean, they do jump pretty well, so about standard size. And the the corgis would be indoor primarily, and they would go outdoors when they need to, um, you know, biological functions, that kind of thing, and for for walks and whatnot. And so we do need a fence, though, for when they do need to do their biological stuff. And that way, if, if they want to, like, kind of free roam for a little bit and, and that kind of thing, we, we can do that. I know I am encumbered. And I need everything. Okay. That, I don't know what it is, but I know it will probably kill us. If it gets close enough to us. It is a thorny dragon of some repute. But yeah, and so the the pre previous tenants, they, they had a, a whole menagerie of dogs, and they really didn't care about the property, and it shows. Boy, howdy does it show. If I could get this to 60, I'd be happy. 160, come on. Just a little, actually, yeah, 160, there we go. And I can make two. And, yeah, so they, they tore stuff up. They damaged the property. Um, we've not been able to see any telltale signs of the dogs living inside of the home, which is like a, a small miracle from what we've been told by our neighbors because they were everywhere. We outside, though, totally different story. Oh, uh, the yard isn't flat at all. Uh, there is more holes that they could have dug in than I could have even told you was possible for a small canine and its companions to do. The fencing is destroyed. We have a whole panel of fence that... I, I would say it was probably held together with, like, spit. Like... I, I, I can't even begin to think of exactly what kept it where it needed to be other than just hope and and spit and when the when the first big storm came it just totally blew it down what level are you can I can I possibly take you out you are an alpha shield oil jug that's a lot of words that say mag you hit me I do not die okay so yeah, so that that's another thing that's kind of like on our list of things. Ah, uh, what got me? Oh, okay, a Titan Boa. Ah, uh, but, but, we know how to kill Titan Boas. We know how to kill Titan Boas. They require a bow. And they require arrows. Which is going to require flint. And stone. And fiber and thatch. Or just flint and thatch. So over that way somewhere is a snake. We've been really needing to find a snake. Because we've been really, really, really needing 
to get Hyde from killing the snake. Now, I don't know what a rampage does. Okay, that was a thorny dragon we just heard. Alright. Yeah, a little bit, a little bit. Of the things that we have around nearby where our base is. Um, the snakes are probably the easiest thing we can kill. Oh. That's a hyena dawn. All right. Yeah, that thing is getting so close to our home. Oh. Oh. No. No. Hyena dawn, run away from our house, please. Please run away from our house. Oh no, 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 doggy, 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 bad doggy. Oh, all right, doggy, go, go fight somewhere else. Please. That was almost horrible. Alright, so, we know this snake is over here somewhere. We know it aggroed on us. I see it. I'm trying to get a feel for, well, what's the tribe log say? Oh, okay, so now we have a tribe. Okay, so now we can do things like see what kills us and replay it. Alright, Snake, how fast are you? You are faster than our walk speed, which we were prepared for. We have put 20 arrows into you. It's getting dark again. Oh my gosh. Okay, we don't need to be missing arrow shots because arrows are our premium. Not getting bloody yet. Are you running away? Nope, you're not running away. You just have a wide turn radius. Ah. 
We really gotta be avoiding dirt in these arrows. We know we can't be hit by this thing, because as soon as it hit us once, it was all over last time. All right, all right. Collect as many arrows from its body as we can. And there's some hide, there's some hide, there's some hide. Some meat, which we don't need. We really need the hide. More hide. Awesome, 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 awesome. All right. Oh, so good. All right. And we need, what do we need for this last one? We need some stone and some thatch and a little bit of wood, right? A little bit of wood. Uh, yeah. So we may have gotten to where we kind of are hoping to be at. Well, the stuff you dropped in your base despawn. Yes! Yes, if you drop things in your base, uh, things that you don't need or don't want, uh, it will despawn. Uh, on this server, uh, because we are knowing that most of us are people with lives and jobs and family and whatnot, we do have the spawn timers fairly lengthened for despawning. Like if I were to, for instance, take this and just drop these, 10 minutes and it will then despawn. So if you do drop something, it does take 10 minutes for that to despawn. But if you were to do this and do a drop all, this drops a bag and it also has the 10 minutes. But if you have what's called a corpse bag, it actually will take far longer. Um, this server here is considered the medium difficulty server that we've been running on. Uh, let's see here, speaking of things here. Level up, level up. Oh, I, uh, I don't like going past 118 move speed, so we're gonna go wait. All right. So, we are going smithy. What do we need? We need the metal. We have everything we need to craft our smithy. Yes! Oh my gosh. We are going to be quite good in the Stone Age. We know that direction over there somewhere is salt. Oh my gosh. This thing is running kind of towards us like a derpy puppy and we, we love it for being cute like that but we we don't need it to we don't need it to get any closer. Alright. So we're going to demolish this piece. We're going to demolish this piece so we can get a bit of a uh, break left off of it. All right, boom, boom. All right, so now we have all of that. Okay, take our metal. Smithy. All right, weapons, firearms. Now we can make a rifle eventually. Um, metal, tools, gonna be a big thing for us. I kinda like the stone sickle that we already have. Oh. this thing. All right. So, metal, wood, fiber, weapons, ranged. We need more wood, more wood. Okay.
Okay. We will go after more wood. Uh, we do need to put our essence and souls away, though. So, boom, boom, boom. That's good. And the other kind of cool thing about this TMAC is with the mods that we have on this particular server, eventually, not right away, but eventually we'll have a, a device that will auto pick up. Actually, these are not, all right, so raw materials can go in there, but not all raw materials. And that'll actually speed things up pretty good for us to where we won't have to worry about certain things. All right. Uh, we can put this other bow in here because we don't need it. And this other bow can go in there as well because we don't need it. This fiber can go over there. So... Yeah, it, it, you know, there, there's a, uh, there's like, uh, the automation's kind of a 50-50 thing. I really enjoy the automation in some of these games on certain things. Because it does take a lot of the chorin out of the game. You know, the, oh, I've got to go and get some food for my dinos, or i got to go and sort all this stuff. And that's, you know, that's kind of a, a big deal. And sorting that out you know getting rid of that um, that's 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 a that's a huge boon some of the things though not so much like and it's it's kind of funny right but when Digrat and I started playing this originally we had this massive huge complex that gloops items into these together when they drop yeah it, it's really handy and and that's you know that's not a bad thing right but there's a there's a part of arc that's all about making sure oh that's the other thing we need here too preserving bin what do we need for that we need some wood uh, there, there's a there's a spot in arc though where you basically get to the point to where you're not playing arc not really um, you are you're signing on to the game and after you sign on to the game you do some things that are very arc-esque but that's the only thing that's kind of close to it being arc at that point and we got to that spot Digret and I we had this ginormous complex and we had a, a mod that would take the items and sort them for us. And then we had really, 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 uh, a couple more reallys, uh, ideally, um, gotten to the point to where we would log on, run around, kill some stuff, you know? Be like, oh, let's go, uh, let's go try to see if we can get a certain dinosaur or something along those lines. And there was no, there, the, the farming was totally gone. I mean, it was, yeah, yeah exactly, exactly. It, it, it was, it was less that we were even playing ARC at that point and just, we were logging on for the sake of logging on. All right, so, preserving bin. I need thatch now because, of course, I made all those arrows. We are using the bird's eye view because, quite frankly, that bug that calls down the meteors, that bug right there, that bug right there, ah, ah. We knew he was there. We knew he was there. Hmm. A 
and now we sort of have like the dueling banjos thing going at this point yeah <laughs> that's all thoughts that will become yeah yeah that's one way to say it that is that is speaking something into existence and this bug here this is not your common bug Number one, they have they have way, way better AI. He's running away, and he's not really running away. You can see that he leaves meteors in his wake, and that is okay. Just a second. terrifying nightmare bug leaves meteors in his wake. The one thing we don't like about the crossbow versus the bow is that when you are reloading, you cannot run. All right, he is he is he looks like he's running away. But he really wasn't. So we're gonna run around. So we have enough arrows to do about another 3,000 damage in this thing. Oh yeah, oh yeah. And the problem with this thing is you can't really chase it. Because if you do, you'll wind up being in its meteor wake. And I don't know how much health these things have. I don't know what kind of bonuses they get. There's a strong chance that after we have made all of these arrows, micro lessons of quantum physics, oh yes. Uh, it's uh, I tell you, it's the Heisenberg uncertainty principle with these things sometimes. You can know exactly where it's going, or you can know where it's about to attack, but you're not allowed to know both at once. And we're down to 11 arrows. We're about to have to do that really, really horrible thing that we've had to do most of the time we've played this mod so far, and that's what do we need to make arrows? and start trying to get those arrows as much as we can. Oh, and here is the last shot we had. All right, that's the last shot we had. Okay, so first things first. We need to run a far, 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 far 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 away to where we can't see him for a second go over here type in arrow um, we can make eight maybe we're gonna grab this over here oh
So we need thatch. That's what we have to start running after is thatch. Is it the only thing that we really had a problem with? And flint. So we're going to take this few moments to regroup. We've got like 20 minutes left on stream. Looks like we have an accord for a second. The big problem is, is that our crossbow is about busted. I would dare say, in the grand scheme of things, Let's see if we can get their, this crossbow repaired without grabbing his attention. Oh. Our little homesteader home there here. It's just like, ugh. Okay, repair. And what would we need to make another one? More wood. Granted. <laughs> 38 arrows well, we know we need far more than that yeah it looks like it's going to be thatch that's our big choke point at the moment no thatch in there, but we will grab this fiber and that. Level up, it says. Normally, I like to keep things a little on the even side, but we're going to pop that point completely in melee damage and hope that it increases our DPS with our bows because of arc strats, right? And as I mentioned earlier, on the bright side, he's neon blue. Hey, Bacadu! We are... Actually, probably need to put our clothes back on. Because it's getting hot out. Alright. We have been fighting a bug for a good portion of the stream. Two of them actually. I, I should I should I should correct myself. We've been fighting two bugs on stream today and a snake. And we have been very fortunate to be able to kill the snake. Um, and we killed one of the bugs. The other bug has proven a little tricky. And it's namely because when we shoot him, he gets really angry. Very, very angry. Oh, it's running off? I'll be circling back, don't worry. Alright. He 
He does this. And Turtle Club, I was so distracted earlier that I couldn't. I uh, I just couldn't uh, remember entirely. Uh, T Mac Man is a musical streamer. Does some stuff on Twitch. Though I, I gotta admit, I don't think I've seen your stuff pop up in the in the Discord lately. Have you had some time to stream lately, T Mac, or has it been kind of like everybody else, where? Life has just sort of inserted itself and unfortunately made things a little bit more difficult. But either way, guys, you can absolutely get to T Max YouTube stuff and some of the Twitch stuff and get some of the old music. It's really good stuff. Man, is he going to go in that? Oh, no, 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 no. Okay. No, 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 no. We have peppered this thing with bow arrows. We have peppered this thing with spears. We have peppered this thing with crossbow bolts now. We have broken a crossbow almost. We are working on a second crossbow. We have put more than 100 arrows into it. Um, wow. Super busy. Yeah, yeah driving. Um, Amazon delivers. Oh. Hey, yeah, that finance thing, totally understood. Totally understood. You got to take care of yourself. You gotta pay the bills, you gotta be able to eat, and if you can't eat, streaming is just one of those things that comes afterwards. Alright, I don't know. Is it running away? Or is it just trying to reset? Oh, I hope it's just running away. I really hope it's. Nope. And rest Oh, 15th August. Awesome. Well, I'll be looking to... If I can't catch it live, um, I'll be absolutely looking to catching some of the replay stuff. I wish I was good enough to do like 360 no-scopes, but nope. We're not. A week from tomorrow? Yes. Yes, because three weeks from tomorrow is my birthday. If I remember done did my math right. And the fact you can't crit on these bugs is just brutal. That was that was a quicker turnaround time. Ah, we were hopeful. Oh, that's cool, which means that your birthday is a week after my sister's because we were born uh, two years and two weeks apart. I had my back against a rock. That was not good. I don't think we're going to be able to kill this thing. I really don't. Like, I am, I am completely just gobsmacked at this point. Oh. 
we have 24 arrows left and we've put almost 100 arrows into this thing right so that's close to 10,000 hit points so that's like what 40 times my health haha <laughs> Yeah, um, you can make flaming arrows. It's been doing that a little bit. It's been trying to trick me because the way it, the way it works is the uh, AI is trying to get me into its meteor range because the meteors come behind it. This is my very last arrow. Ah, okay. Level 36. You have a mega. <laughs> if something is fire like, then fire will not work. You know, I also thought that might have been a, a thing. I wasn't 100% certain of it. But, oh, okay. So, on the bright side. Well, it has been like moving away from our corpse, but. I guess I decided not to do that anymore. Alright. Uh. So I do know one thing that we are absolutely going to have to get for this playthrough is we're going to have to get some kind of crystal because we're going to have to be able to start being able to have better intel about the enemies we're fighting. I came from over that direction. So, plus side, it's not here. Alright, here it comes after us. That makes sense. So far we've done none of the Omega stuff. We've just been fighting the dinos. Because we're, we're really trying to get an idea for people who are going to be playing on this server that have never played ARC before. Or have played ARC but never something this aggressive before. We're trying to get an idea of how out of their element they're really going to be. And so... Yeah. Is this thing still chasing us? Is this ant still chasing us? Duda, duda. Okay, we're we're good. All right, wall. So wood. Alright, and stone and all that good stuff. Wait, why? Why? Because I need flint. Ah. Gonna have to reinstall your soft transfer. Oh. That's unfortunate. You know, that's one thing I I dread. Installing software for, like, new laptops, new loadouts, that kind of thing. It, it, and it's... 
It's like a... I can't even explain why. Mr. Miola used that mod in the couple of his mega modded. Uh, you know, it is a... It's a fun little... It's a fun game. I mean, this is really not a bad way of playing Ark, in my opinion. There are... There are some problems with the mod. But, in my opinion, those are not so much the mod specifically, but the class of mod. My overarching problem that I have with dino mods is typically there's no way to treat the difficulty the way it should be treated. I mean, sure, the, the desert's hard. We're in the desert. We're having to survive off of berries. These are things that are true, right? These are things that will stay true until we leave the desert because we don't have a steady source of water. The desert is a not an easy place to be in. And fighting the dinos here, probably not my shiningest moment. That all said, if we were like on the beach, uh, it wouldn't be any better. Matter of fact, it might be a little bit worse because we'd let our guard down. Uh, if we were in the jungle, it would be far worse in my opinion. For these kind of mods, generally speaking, you are a thousand times better off in the desert than you are anywhere else. Uh, crafting door. We want this door. Uh, you know, the funny thing is, um, so high rates, like if you're playing Arc Omega, high rates actually increases the difficulty. That's something that Hexen done to try to balance things out. So if you are, if you're playing with like times two or times three or times four or something like that, uh, or even if you decide to go crazier than that even, uh, you'll wind up having a really rough time of it. Adding extra dino mods, in my opinion, it doesn't really entirely make the game harder. Uh, but what does make the game incredibly hard is lowering the dino level, which is kind of funny to think about. But, oh my gosh, lower dino level makes the game just stupid hard. I wouldn't have thought that until I started testing this mod out and we, we had the lower mod of... Uh, or dino levels for a while and it was like level 20 and no <laughs> I was not going to be killing the level 20s uh, that was for certain it, it was oh, way rougher than I thought it was going to be alright so we got those next is walls And you wouldn't think that, right? You'd be like, oh, well, level 20s are going to be easy because they're lower level. Well, yeah, except for the, the difficulty scales, right? And your dinos being, when you tame one, right? You find a level 20, you tame your level 20 dino. It's level 30, congrats. You're fighting things that are level 20 still. And level 30 versus 20 is not that different. It's, it's just not. And then... Um, so you have to basically keep that dino alive long enough to survive, like, everything. Alright, so I need one, two, three to start with. And I need wood. Which is kind of funny, because now I really want to do, like, a, a brutal play on Brutal Arc. and see how bad it gets. Alright, so now we need stone. But Brutal Arc at least has like the team limits, which makes things a little bit different. I think that's where the artificial difficulty for Brutal Arc comes in.
Yeah, higher level dinos will actually uh, make the game a little bit easier. Now, the interesting thing is Hexen got tired of people playing with multiple mods. And so <laughs> it's it's not a, a commonly known thing, apparently, because people complain about it a lot. And he's like, yeah, that's, that's, that's the way it's built. Um, so we're going to demolish this. No, we're not going to demolish that. We're going to do this, though. to make that stone and then because we're going to be smart about this we're going to demolish the door and then we're going to put out this and then we're going to put the double doors out but so yeah because uh you know mods like that are supposed to put oh, how we we did a dumb we did a big dumb uh so two things we're going to go to auto close only, and then we're going to we got it. We have to we got to get another. Mm. Uh, the thing that he did was he made it to where if you're playing with modded dinos like Eternal or Primal Fear or Brutal or uh, several others actually. Is that a shadow or a dino? It looks like it was a shadow. Okay. The modded dinos from other mods cannot do damage to Omega dinos. They're invincible versus those. Vanilla or Omega only. So, and the, and the vanilla dinos do very low damage, but they do do damage. But if you're using like Primal Fear or Eternal or Pugnacia or anything like that, um, you're going to wind up not being able to fight. <laughs> uh, foundation. Dash. Oh, it's eight. I, I was thinking that was like a weather alarm going off on my on my wristwatch, but no, it's my time. Uh, all right, we're gonna we're gonna quickly go over time a little bit today, not much, because we're gonna make this foundation. We're going to slowly build out the base a little bit. All right. So we're going to do window there, window there. Wall there. We're gonna do a wall here. And we're gonna pick up wood. Pick up wood. And then we're going to be very concerned about the fact that we saw some something glowing off in the distance there. We don't know what it was. And we're going to pick up the ceiling. We're going to pick up the stone wall. We're going to pick up the door. Put the door frame. That's just because of the wood stone texture. All right. All right. 
That's good. That's good. That's good. So next, we're going to do that. And then demolish. And then... We're going to pick up that wood wall. We're going to pick up this window. We're going to demolish this wooden window. And replace it with a stone window. Wooden wall above. We're going to pick up wood wall. Demolish wood wall. Down stone window. That's stone wall. Alright, so we got that. We have this. We need. Can we make one? Or we need stone? We need stone. Do I have stone? I bet I have stone in here. We do. Crafting. And one of these. All right, so now we have light in the building. Oh, that's why I wanted light. Uh, can I make a wall? I can make a wall. Actually, I can make two walls. Even better. With two walls, we can do this. Demolish this. Pick this one up. And then put the stone wall Right there, stone wall right there, and then we can put stone or a wooden wall there. All right, and then ceiling. This helps if I spell ceiling right. All right, I can't make any ceilings. All right, Turtle Club, we are just about done. We are going to put the ceiling right there and right there. So we have them above our place there. We are going to put our body in the middle here because that's going to be the most protected spot except for things that can like jump in and kill us, right? We are going to dump everything in our inventory there just in case something decides to destroy us. Maybe, just maybe, it won't do anything to the smithy. Doubtful, but hey. Uh, we are going to take the souls and essences out and put them where they go. We're building up some stuff. We're building up some stuff. But yeah, it is unfortunately time for me to be getting out of here, guys. So I'm going to have myself a, a, a good little routine before work uh, or before bed before work. But out there I want to say thank you to McAdoo and to T-Mac and the Lurk Squad for showing up today you guys have been amazing really appreciate that I hope you guys have a good breakfast a good lunch a good dinner a good morning a good start of your week or end of your week depending upon how you look at Sunday some look at it one way some look at it the other um, you know, have yourself a good morning good evening a good night whatever about the be Turtle Club Stay safe, wash your hands, and have a good one. Thanks for watching and taking.